In this video, we will solve bending problem. The first question is a simple one. We have a wooden beam. Length is four meters. And this section is rectangular, 140 to 240. A distributed load Q is acting. So when you have a distributed load Q along the length L, well, this can be replaced by a single load Q times L, and your support forces will be Q times L over 2, Q times L over 2 on both sides. This type of loading, the shear force and the bending moment diagrams will look like this. We will not go into the details how to draw these diagrams, but there is a special video on this topic. We see that the maximum bending moment is in the middle. Its value is QL square over 8. And with the help of the bending formula my over i you can take this maximum value your section is a rectangular section with a neutral axis in the middle your y is h over 2 and for a rectangular beam your moment of inertia is 1 over 12 bh so if you organize this equation, you will get a sigma wax like this. Now all you have to do is to take these numerical values and calculate the maximum bending moment and the maximum sigma max. In the second problem, we have a horizontal shelf and the dimensions of the shelf is given well there are two brackets for this shelf and the location of these brackets is adjustable and you can replace them in any desired problem well you are asked to adjust these brackets for maximum load carrying capacity so you have to find an x value where the load carrying capacity of the shelf is maximum and we assume that there is a distributed load q acting on the shelf and for this position we have to calculate the permissible value of q the shelf material is probably wood and its allowable bending stress is 7.5 megapascals. Okay, let's try to find this strategy, how to find the maximum load carrying capacity for this shelf. So I have to determine the location of the brackets. Let's name it X. Well, there are possibilities well if you have the shelf you can place your brackets far away from each other or close to each other well in these cases your bending will look like this well i'm exaggerating and here you have something like this you see, I have maximum bending over here and in the middle, in the other direction. Here again, these two and the bending in the middle. So let's name this M2 and this M1. And let's draw the moment diagram for this beam the bending moment diagram will look like this your m1 and m2 well 
we try to make M1 equal to M2 in order to have a high loading capacity. Well, if you take brackets too far away or too close to each other, this moment diagram will have a non-uniform shape, as you see. Well, it will be something like this. Okay, in both cases, the difference between M1 and M2 is too high. And the solution is for maximum load capacity, let M1 be equal to M2 or to the absolute value of M2 because they have different signs. Well, let's take X and cut in both locations and calculate M1 and M2 as a function of X and let M1 equal to M2 and determine the value of X where M1 equals to M2. This position is where the shelf has the maximum load carrying capacity. Step is you take this X, put it here or here, they will give the, give the same results and determine the maximum bending moment. And on the other hand, the allowed sigma for the shelf material is 7.5 megapascal. We know the formula sigma equals to m over s and s is the section modulus and from here you can calculate m equals to sigma times s s is the section modulus the the geometry is given and we know that s is equal to i over c and over here i have 1 over 12 b h cube h over 2 and for s you can find this goes and that b times h square divided by 6 okay now this is your relation if you know your sigma max or sigma allowed and you know the geometry of your section or the section modulus for your beam, then you can calculate the maximum so that this value is not exceeded. Now we have two equations. Number one, that's the maximum moment when you apply a distributed load Q. This is the maximum moment if you do not want to exceed the allowed stress for a given geometry. Put this equal to this, as you see in this equation. The only unknown is your Q value, and this is ask in our problem and you can determine the q max value as 10.28 when you use the numerical data so the answer of this question is for maximum load carrying capacity you have place your brackets at this position and for this position uh, and for this material, the allowed distributed load can be maximum 10.28. In our last problem, we have a small dam. The height is given and it is constructed with woods AB 
which are simply supported in point A, vertical movement is possible. So, the maximum bending stress is asked. Here we have water and gamma. The weight density of water is given. As you see, the loading condition can be shown like this. Two supports and the loading can be represented by this distributed load. At the top, the pressure of water is zero. Here we have a maximum. Here are the given dimensions. And let B, the width of, of the beam perpendicular to the plane, and Q0 is the maximum intensity of the distributed load at the bottom of the dam. So I'm looking for the maximum bending moment. This is how the load is distributed. If you have point P over here, your Q will be X over L times Q0, which is the maximum pressure at the bottom. So, how do we find the maximum bending moment? Let's start with the support forces. If you take point B and write sigma MB, here for the distributed load, you can place a load over here, Q0, L over 2, is this area and this position is L over 3. Okay, you see if you calculate the moment around B, you see QL over 2, L0, and RA is the support force in point A. So RA times L equal to 0. As a result, you find that RA is QL over 6, and if you write sigma FY equal to 0, then you find that your RB value is QL over 3. Now we are looking for the maximum bending moment in this beam, which is actually a dam. So I have to find the position x for maximum m. I know that for maximum m, dm over dx should be equal to zero. And I also know that dm over dx is equal to v. So what I have to do is to calculate the shear force in this section. So I will take I will make a cut, take the left side. Here your RA is QL over 6. I have a distributed force and at this point the Q value is X over L times Q0. So you place a load over here and you determine the V value in this section. So you can write this equation. So this is your V. For maximum M, this with V should be equal to zero. And for V equals to zero, you find that X should be L over square root of three. So you know the position of the maximum bending moment in order to calculate the maximum bending moment for this position x equal l over square root of 3 you cut again well the same section you calculate the m value and you find that m value 
equals QL square divided by 9 square root of 3. In my problem, the L value is the height of the dam. So this is what I have already calculated. I have to determine the sigma value. Sigma equals to standing moment divided by the section modulus. And your section is, well, you have a width B and a thickness T. If you put these values and instead of Q, you put the maximum pressure or maximum pressure at the bottom where Q is the weight density of water, you find that sigma equals to this value. So if we take the numerical values for B, Q, and S, then we can calculate M max and sigma max, and your maximum stress is 2.1 megapascals in this small dam. In this video, we solved three bending problems. Thank you for listening.